Welcome back to my little channel. Today's video is an impromptu one. I'm going to address something that happened yesterday. I'm not going to address what happened yesterday though, I'm going to address what's happening since. Before I continue I would like to ask you to share this video and I'm not going to ask you to like this. Considering the topic, I don't care about likes. I mean, you're welcome to do that. Obviously, it gives me an indication that you enjoyed the work I put into it. But the topic itself is not something to like. And I do want to hear your thoughts. Critics are always welcome, but in this case, I really want to hear your thoughts. Because there is something inherently damaging in our Western society and it's being perpetuated and it's getting worse and worse. Okay, I'll get to that too. First off, what is this story going to be about? Okay, I'll show you. There has been a terror attack. No, not a terror attack. We're not supposed to say terror attack. We don't know if it's a terror attack, but there has been an incident at a carnival procession in Germany. And this article says children were amongst the injured. Uh, I've got three articles standing here. They roughly say the same, which is um, terrible in my humble opinion. Here it just says 30 people damaged, uh, sorry, hurt. Uh, this one says targeting children. And this one says children among them. Fair enough. You know what, I'm going to take the middle one. Links will be provided, you can check them out yourself. They'll probably edit them anyway, and that's because there's not much to report. But the worst part is why there isn't much to report. Okay, Daily Star. And again, Guardian is out there as well, and, and never mind. Links will be provided downstairs. It has a video, I'm not going to show you the video. In this article, they say 15, though they changed the headline. They didn't change the article yet. Um, a silver Mercedes collided with people at Rose Monday's parade in the town of Volksmarsen in central Germany. The police has since confirmed that the 29-year-old German man who deliberately rammed into the crowd is now under arrest. He already was under arrest. I mean, they arrested him after he'd done it. Um, one of the articles I read, I'm not sure if it's one of these three, talked on how the crowd, after he crashed into people, um, yeah, they wanted to lynch him, which is understandable. Okay. People say that uh, he accelerated through the procession. So, whilst he was hitting people, he was going faster. But then he hit a barrier. I'm going to go down a little bit. The police have not yet confirmed if they are treating the incident as terrorizing, but it is not thought to be politically motivated. This is an important sentence, politically motivated. And then the police said in a statement, we know that there is a great desire for comprehensive information. However, we urge everyone who has pictures or video of this event, hold back on speculations and do not distribute any of the recordings that are being made at the local scene. But maybe they mean people like me as well. An information portal will be set up. Well, I haven't seen that information portal yet. But, the guy is considered to be a German national, which means he has the German nationality, and he has been arrested. Okay, is he a German? Well, it's possible, but that's not sure. He's a German national. Why do I speculate on that? I'll show you the image in a moment. Now, today is a popular day for carnival celebrations across Germany, not just in Germany, more Catholic countries celebrate Carnival at this point in time. All parades ha in the region have been cancelled as a precaution. Wait a second. Wasn't it political? 
but everything is being cancelled. So we fear other actions may happen. That's uh, weird. And Volksmarsen lies 175 miles from Berlin. Yeah, not quite sure why that's important. But it is a small town with only 6,000, well, nearly 7,000 inhabitants. Yeah, okay. Well, there you have it. About 1,500 people were expected, and this happened. And now the fun part. We know that the one who did this is a German national. We might not know what that means, but it's a German national. And it comes only a few days or a week after a gunman shot 11 people dead in a far-right racist terror attack in the town of Hanoi. And this is where it comes to me as really weird. Because if it isn't political motivated, why is this added to it? But the worst part is this. Oh, come here. Investigators say that at that shisha bar attack where the 11 people were killed, the victims were of immigrant origin. Some were German nationals. Wait a second. So immigrant origins can still be German nationals. But you're not to speculate, people. See why I have a problem with this? Now, don't get me wrong. Whether it was a white guy that did it, or a Muslim guy that did it, or a black guy that did it, I don't give a fuck. He's a criminal. He should be... Hell, put him in a jail cell, lock the door, and um, check in a few months if he's still breathing. Ah, that's cruel and unjust. Fair enough. Maybe it is. But stuff like this... Eh. There's no, no, no good way to deal with it. Lock them up, forget about them, they'll die eventually. Not nice of me to say, but it's true. But the worst part is that they don't want to tell us who did it. They don't want us to speculate about it. But they'll tell us it was a German national. Now, after the Hanoi shooting, 11 people died. A bunch of these were uh, Turkish people, fair enough. And then this protest happened. I'm sorry, but why are they waving the flag of another country when they're protesting in your country about a terror act happening in your country, which seems to have been politically motivated and against well basically this because those right wingers that do this shit do this because they have the feeling their country has been overtaken and if you then look at the protest march I can't blame them for thinking that now I don't mind Turkish people in, in, in my country waving the Turkish flag when there's a world championship going on or Olympic Games or whatever because yeah sure be proud of your country but in cases like this I want you to identify with the country you are in not the country you came from because in the cases of the Hanoi uh, Hanau sorry not Hanoi Hanau shooter you're feeding in to the extremist thought that you're there not to be German, but to be Turk. And if you want to be a Turk, yeah, sure, that's nothing wrong with that. There's a whole country for you. That country isn't Germany. So if you want to protest there and, and want to say against right-wingers, don't do this, we're German too, don't walk around with a Turkish flag, walk around with the German flag. But obviously, that would be racist of me to say. Yet, the newspaper goes out of its way, not the newspaper, because the newspapers are reporting what the politicians and, and the police in this case are saying. They go out of their way to say, well, yeah, but he has the German nationality. 
It's a German national. Yeah. Amongst these flag wavers, there are German nationals as well. Oh, they might also have the Turkish nationality. But, um, yeah, that doesn't mean anything. The problem with this is twofold, threefold, triplefold, whatever. How many folds you want? There are so many things wrong with this image. Because, again, German national, but foreigners can become German nationals. So German national doesn't mean a thing. We're not supposed to say it's terror related, but the first thing they will do is bring into account, oh, but remember a week ago, a right wing uh, person started killing German nationals, apparently. Well, they're immigrants. And then you've got immigrants, German nationals, protesting whilst waving the banner of the country they come from. Not the German banner, because they are not German. Well, they might be on paper, but they don't care about Germany, which will feed in to the right wing rhetoric of saying, look, we're being replaced, we're being attacked. Our country is under attack, even though our politicians are too lazy to recognize that. Now, in all fairness, the guy that did the carnival attack, yeah, he could have been a Muslim, could have been, we don't know. He could also have been a jilted father who wanted to take revenge on his wife and children. I don't know. We don't know what happened because they do everything to make sure we don't know what happened. But they will push the narrative as if it was a right-wing attack. But why would a German right-wing national attack a carnival procession? Because let's be honest, that's pretty much German tradition right there. The narrative doesn't make sense. The story they are bringing us doesn't make sense. But then the police is kind enough to ask you not to speculate on it. And if you have imagery of what happened, please do not share it. I don't understand this. Now, again, are all Muslims to blame? No, of course not. We don't know who's to blame because we're not being told. But the way in how we are not being told is um, pretty terrible. Because after the Hanau shooting, we were told really fast how it was a white right-wing extremist. And now when they actually have the guy in custody, so they have no doubt who was it. Well, we don't know why he did it. And, um, well, he was a German national. Yeah, but then so were the victims of the right-wing shooter that killed people who were immigrants. Half of them were German nationals. I don't understand why, why, why we're being lied to by our um, governments and our media. That doesn't mean that I agree with the right-wing shooter that killed people in Hanau. That doesn't mean that I automatically assume that the killer that did this attack in the carnival... He's not a killer, by the way. No one died so far. Um, but the guy that did this attack in Hanau... Uh, not in Hanau, in Volksmarsen, is a Muslim. I don't know this. But the way the story is being spun right in front of our eyes kind of makes me feel that it probably was. Anyway, I'm repeating myself. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious to hear what you think. And not whether all Muslims are bad, because you know what? If you think that, there's no way to discuss that with you, because that's not true. There is no monolith. The point I'm hoping to discuss with you people is whether we can recognize that we are being lied to, that there is a narrative being spun in front of our eyes, where whenever something good is being done by a white person, it's no big deal. And when something bad is being done by a white person, the first thing we know is that it's a white person. And when something good is being done by a person of 
any ethnicity other than native European, it's a huge deal. And whenever a bad thing is being done by someone non-native European, it's being downplayed. It's, um, yeah, you know what? Criticism as always is more than welcome, and I hope to see you all next time.